Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Breast implant cancer survivor Terry McGregor did not expect to see this. How did we go from 12 reports the year I was diagnosed to 7,000 reports in 2019? That was also our question. Why has Health Canada received 10 times more reports related to breast implants in 2019 than the previous year? We dug into the data and found old reports received by breast implant makers Allergan and Johnson & Johnson affiliate Mentor over the past two decades, but only disclosed in 2019. I don't think this data has anything in it that shows that patients are at increased risk with the current breast implants. What I think is more um, concerning is, is that the system is broken. Canada's federal regulations say it's mandatory for manufacturers to report all deaths, serious injuries and complications involving a medical product to Health Canada within 10 to 30 days. But it leaves it up to manufacturers to decide if an incident is reportable or not. It's a bit of a violation of trust. So if I report a ruptured implant to a manufacturer, I would expect that that manufacturer would report that to Health Canada. As does this patient advocate. CBC News found her medical device report in the data dump four years after it was submitted to Allergan. The reports were there. And the manufacturers kept them from our government. I have cost our government a lot of medical resources to save my life. How dare they? Health Canada told CBC News this new data has been key to help it reevaluate the risks associated with breast implants. It's planning an update in the coming months. Okay, so Valerie, what did Health Canada have to say about how it found this data? Well, Health Canada told us it found what it calls evidence of underreporting in late 2017, and it then launched an investigation into both Allergan and Johnson & Johnson's affiliate Mentor, which eventually led to the discovery of these 5,900 retroactive reports, which in Health Canada's own words, were reportable under the federal regulations, but had never been submitted. We asked manufacturers for comment on this. Allergan declined to comment, but Mentor told us that it has been and remains transparent and fully compliant with Health Canada's regulations. Okay, thanks Valerie.